Hello, welcome to Classic Rewind. I am replacing my radiator in my GMC Savannah. And I wasn't gonna make a video of it, but I decided a lot of people don't know how to change the radiator uh, clips that hold the oil coolant and the transmission lines. And it's very simple if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, it could be a nightmare. So I'm going to show you over here step by step on how to remove the retaining clip on the transmission lines for your oil cooler and your transmission cooler. So let me uh, bring you over here and show you what you need to do to do that. Okay, this is the, uh, the radiator that I'm replacing and it is actually leaking, let me show you, uh, right along the outer side of this, this piece here. So I have to replace it. And I started taking it all apart and I wanted to show you this right here, um, this clip right here, this retaining clip. You got one at the top and you have one, it's not focusing, right down there at the bottom, there's another one okay that is for your um, coolant lines your transmission lines and this one over here is for your oil lines um, on the GMC Savannah so there's one here and there's one down there so in order to remove these uh, clips they're very difficult uh, if you don't know what you're doing but very easy if you do move my big fingers out of the way okay so take your little pair of pliers and turn this little plastic clip and as you can see this one's rusty um, let me see if I could get to the other side of it over here there you go all right so here we go so take this and you work it loose by turning it and then sliding it off like that okay you can see how rusty it is but you see the little lines right there Okay, that's where the little space, that's where it holds the retaining clip. Try not to lose the retaining clip, but right there, I gotta get a little pick and clean this all up for you. You can see how shiny that is right there. So I'm gonna clean that up and then pull this clip off and hopefully it doesn't go flying. But let me slide this down. I'm gonna clean that up, see how rusty that is. Um, and I'm gonna slide that off, give me a second. Okay, I just took my air hose and blew all the rust off of this. And you take your little pick right here. It's a little pick I, I have. And you try to get in there and you try to lift this pick up. Oh, I'm sorry, try to lift the clip up. And sometimes it goes flying, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but you try to get in there because of the rust, it makes it a little difficult. But you try to get in there and you try to lift this up. And let me see if I can get it with one hand. If not, I'm gonna have to put the uh, camera down. Hold on one second. Okay, I got it loose with the pick i used my my uh little hammer and i tapped it in and cleaned it up but just slide this ring off try not to lose it if you don't have another one uh, my new radiator came with the clips so there you go now it's it's off okay and it looks like this let me show you see that um let me let me bring it up here hold on okay so that's what that's what the clip looks like as you could see i i stretched it a little bit trying to get it off but good thing my new radiator hold on this is my new radiator the clip is right in there let me take this let me take this off so you could see it right inside there you see the three prongs there's one two three that is the clip that holds it in 
so you just have to make sure that when you install it hold on so now what you can do is give this a little shake and it should come out but because of the rust I'm gonna give it a little tap so I gave it a couple gentle taps with my hammer and what you do is just pull this straight out okay because of the rust as you can see all the rust that's on there it makes it a little more difficult to remove it but that's all it is and whatever you do is uh let me pull this back up here try not to lose this clip right here but if you lose this clip this well i'm calling it a clip but this is a retainer for the clip if you lose this clip just get yourself a hose that fits over this sorry if you lose this clip make sure you get a hose that fits over you could cut it put it over this line fits over this nut to keep that retaining clip from popping off because that's all this clip does right here is hold that retaining clip in place so if you uh if you have any questions leave a comment but uh that's it so that's the top one i got to do the same thing on the bottom one down there and then i got two more over here and then i could remove i got two more right there see that then i could remove the radiator um but i hope this helps someone Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll show you what it looks like when everything's out, and I'll be back. I want to show you this. The um, this is the retaining clip. Okay, this is it's larger on the other side because of the different size of the the line. Anyway, the plastic retainer clip. This piece here. Do you see the little indentation right there? That little hole? And then you have another one over here. There should be three of them. And then another one over there. So the reason why I say there's three is because there's there's uh, little indentations here that actually this clip sits and locks the corner of the clip in that way it doesn't slide out so it so it doesn't blow a line so that's all this does is to maintain the retaining clip in place so when you install these make sure that this clip right here is sticking at the corner or this corner is sticking out so you could see that it's actually retaining it because a lot of people put it together and then it blows out if you're doing it yourself just be careful so just wanted to show you that I just got done putting in the new radiator now I'm getting ready to show you uh, how I put those uh, clips in so it's very easy to do I'm gonna try to show you on this side um, only because I have more room to work so what what you need to do is I have to clean this uh, retainer here. So let me uh, let me blow some air in there and try to get rid of that that surface rust that's right around there. So I'll be right back. Uh, take out the plug for the radiator right here. Let me see if I could move this wire. There you go. Okay, so. I blew the I blew the rust out of that retaining clip holder there and take this off. Good thing that this radiator here came with a uh, the clip, the retaining clip. I don't know if you could see that. Let me see. Right right there, right where my thumbnail is. That's where the retaining clip is. So you push this in properly. So push that in till you hear it click. That's where the retaining clip is holding it holding that little round part of the of the line then you take the clip and you see right right here that's sticking up just a breath and you push that in there and you turn it 
and that clip there it should be uh, I didn't hold it right there that pay, that clip right there is holding it in place now why is that not holding there okay right there okay so now that clip is holding it in place and if you look there it's there's a little metal thing right there it's showing that is where it's holding it in place you see that and then this won't pop out anymore because this clip is holding it in place so let's do that to the other side the bottom one here <clears throat> let me see if I can get this up okay oh this is this is filthy too so let me get my air hose blow that out clean and we'll do it on that one hold on okay just got done blowing that out we're gonna come down here oh before I put this on let me put that bottom hose in so I'll be right back okay I just put that hose back on uh, the bottom rad hose so now I'm gonna take the bottom transmission line and run it in here hopefully you guys can see uh, I'm pushing that in there's that click and then you push the retainer on top and that just spin it make sure it doesn't come off and that just keeps it from popping out make sure that's in there all right now I'm ready to do this side move this out of the way for now all you do like I said before push it in till you hear it click didn't do that I need two hands <laughs> sorry hold on Let's see if I could do it with this hand There you go. And then pull the retainer clip over it. For some reason, these retainer clips, I guess they're from being so old, they're not really holding them in place anymore. But as long as they have a little snag, they shouldn't go anywhere. You could take some tape and wrap them up because they didn't come with the new radiator. Um, but anyway... We're going to do the same thing on the bottom down there. And I'll turn the camera back on. Let me see if we can focus before I turn it off. I put everything together. And I'm running it now to get up to operating temperature to see if there's any leaks. Uh, but for now, everything looks good. No leaks. So then I'm going to put it all together. Make sure you check uh, so there's no... Uh, radiator antifreeze leaks and no oil leaks from where you took everything apart and put it back together I got to put the shroud back on I got to put my uh, air filter back on but I just want to make sure there's the new radiator is not leaking but this was just to let you guys uh, know how to change those clips um, and I hope this was helpful and uh, leave a comment if you like. And I'll see you on the next one.